Hi again, everybody. Um, it's Mia back with um, another video. I am making Irish sea moss soap. I just got finished um, making a video of me making the Irish sea moss lotion. So now I'm going to use my my purple Irish sea moss gel and some coconut milk from our water portion and I'm going to make a wonderful oh so wonderful so amazing fantastic bar of Irish sea moss soap I love my Irish sea moss soap I'm sorry but I love it I love it like absolutely love it so um let me get all my ingredients together and i will be back okay you guys i'm about to weigh out my sea moss portion of my liquids and I'm going to use four ounces. So this is four ounces. I'm going to use this. I'm going to put some olive vera juice in there, mix it together, and this will be for my lye solution. And I have coconut milk right here that I got from my local flea market. And um, the rest of the water portion will be coconut milk. It's very good for uh, facial soaps. So I like to put it in my Irish sea moss bar because I feel like that's um, an all around the body, all through the body type of uh, soap. So you can use it on your face, you can use it on your body. It doesn't matter. Okay, so I weighed out um, eight ounces of coconut milk. So creamy. Ooh, can't wait for me this soap to cure. The rest of this is I'm going to use for another soap batch that I'm making later on today after this video. So put this away. Here are my hard oils and butters that I've um already weighed and placed in the container. I'm going to just melt this in the microwave. I cannot wait until I can get a big stainless steel pot put this stuff in to melt it slowly in a double boiler. Um, but for now, 20 second spurts in a microwave until it gets mostly liquidy. And then hopefully that will um, melt, help melt the butters that's, you know, a little higher in um, melting point. See that? Use that fan on. If you have one at your stove, definitely have it on, or I suggest you do this outside. And do it to where the wind is blowing, it's blowing it away from you and not towards you. Okay, hi again. Um, I'm back. I got my additives ready. Let's see. Turmeric. I get this also from my local co-op. Uh, this is my colloidal oats and kaolin and clay. This is tapioca starch, which I'm gonna use to anchor my essential oil blend. Okay, I'm back. Um, let me adjust this. Um, look like I'm looking up or something. All right, I forgot um, to mention my last additive, which is honey. Like I said, this bar 
of soap is the best. The best. Like, I really researched my ingredients to make sure that I had oils that weren't clogging to the pores or anything that don't cause breakouts that help soothe the skin, help clear the skin, just help just for overall skin healthiness. Like, if that's a word, healthiness. So, um, yeah. Like I use rice bran oil, which is a very conditioning light oil, very moisturizing, doesn't clog the pores like olive oil can. Um, it's very moisturizing to the skin, helps seal in moisture. Um, the coconut milk, like I said, it also doesn't clog pores. It's uh, very soothing, conditioning, helps with um, a soft feel. Kaolin clay, freaking uh, colloidal oatmeal. And that, as everybody should know, is basically the only and main ingredient in a vino oatmeal bath, or however they say it, oatmeal soak or something. Colloidal oats is the 100% ingredient, the only ingredient. And that's what is in every single bar of my soaps as well as turmeric which is anti-inflammatory helps with your skin darkness if you have dark patches on your skin helps with lightening those and i'm not a doctor i am not a scientist i will stake no medical claims in this this is all in my personal experience with using each one of these ingredients using them in soaps lotions body butters hair products all of my experience and um so yeah this is going to be a stellar bar i've only had made sea moss soap without turmeric it was just sea moss soap so this formula is going to be um just add turmeric to it and um it'll be my sea moss turmeric bar soap but you can find sea moss soaps um, on basicallysoap.com at my shop and uh, my supplies getting low people love that soap so they're just buying it up and so that's why I'm making more I'm making different kinds using different kinds of scents this one um, I did a essential oil blend I don't want to tell y'all what it is but um, maybe I will tell you what it is yeah I'm gonna tell you what it is So this is my essential oil blend. At the bottom of it is a tapioca starch, which I use to anchor my um, scents. But it's a mixture of patchouli, lavender 4020, as well as bergamot. And it smells amazing. It smells great. Like, it smells like, like a perfume or something that smells so good but not overwhelming like some perfumes could be or flowery it's like a clear scent it smells really good like the notes of patchouli oh oof, this smells so good so done melting my hard oils down have my liquid oils in a separate container. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine them and then um, stick blend in my um, colloidal oats and kaolin clay, as well as my honey and the coconut milk. And then I'm going to add the lye. All right, let's get to it. So I'm combining both my oils into my butt melted butters and hard oils. I don't think I told you what butters I use. I use shea butter and I hope I'm saying this correctly, Maruo, Maruo butter. And um, I'm using also palm oil as well as coconut oil. So, 
Here goes in some of my additives. Oh, it's not plugged in. My coconut milk. <laughs> Guys, I like to scrape as much of the ingredients out as possible. What Katie Carson say, scrapey, scrapey, my containing. Definitely do that. I mean, this stuff adds up batch after batch it may be an expensive when you buying one or two but when you're buying like 10 that, that adds up and you don't want to waste it you want everything to go into your soap matter of fact i'm gonna add my fragrance now before i add my live this is my lime with the sea moss and aloe vera. It's been sitting in an ice bath for about an hour. So it's pretty cool. It's like room temperature now. My honey. That up. And I'm also using my turmeric as a color. So, um, there's going to be like orange swirls in it. And here is my fragrance. I'm going to stir it up and with the tapioca starch. I'm not sure the usage rate of the tapioca starch. I did two teaspoons. So I probably could have used some more, but this is good. So I just want to stir this up, make sure it's in there. And I'm going to pour this in now. try to keep this as liquidy as possible I'm going to whisk it I'm gonna merge and blend it so it's, it's a light trace light light trace and then I'm gonna mix it with the whisk okay I didn't like the jug there it was in the way of the camera it wasn't good optics huh I said optics like I knew something about optics I know nothing about optics so I'm just gonna let it pour down the side of my spatula. And scrape out the rest. So gooey. All right, let's stick the stick blend in. Now I'm 
I'm going to split this off in another container for the turmeric. Add my turmeric. And I think I'll whisk it. I was going to stick blender now. I'll stick it in there after I whisk. Look at that red color. I love this color. It's like a reddish orange, like a blood orange. Just gonna stick with it a little bit. Just to make sure there's no little deposits. idea I seen it on another youtubers page her name is Kenny the messy soaper and what she did was she kind of did a ziggy zaggy type thing so she poured some in then some over here. Well, I guess all of it. So since this is like setting up faster, I'm gonna have to go fast. Like Ricky Bobby. I'm gonna go fast. I'm kind of going to do this as a base. And this, my mold is from Workshop Heritage. It is their, their, um, what is it? Their double tall and skinny mode. Sorry, I'm blocking y'all view. Alright. Let me slam this down. Sorry for the noise. And now, this part. Now, I think they linked it up on something, so I'm just going to use this and lean it like that, I think. And just wiggle it in.
<laughs> so let me slam it down now. It's a little too thick to do what I've seen her do, but I think it looks cool anyway. There's my daughter being nosy. I did give her a shout out. You weren't listening. I said her name and everything. And if I didn't, I got uh, Kenny the Messy Soper from Royal Appleberry. Oops, soap. Scrape out all of this. It's all on the edge. Just get that out. As much as possible, and get this a little bit. I love making soap, you guys. Like, you don't even understand how therapeutic this is for me. So stress relieving, therapeutic, everything. I'm just trying to get the soap kind of went on the inside. Just going to clean that off a little bit as much as possible. Bang, bang, bang. She shot me down. Anybody fans of Kill Bill? Watch that part one and two yesterday on HBO Max. Or maybe it was the day before yesterday. Sometime this past week. I love that movie. Makes me want to learn to speak Japanese and, you know, everything. I don't know about learning Kung Fu or whatever it was called that she was training with her uh, master Pai. He was a badass. Straight up badass. How are you going to go to the monk's temple? and demand the head of the guy who bumped him or something by accident and didn't know who he was what an arrogant bastard you're gonna go to the temple to ask to tell them to demand them for his head monks at that don't give a damn he was one bad mother sucker Soaps on the edge. I'm kind of a messy soaper too. But I'm not claiming that name. It's so very clean. But I think we're all messy at times. Some are better at editing than others. And some just choose not to edit it out. So I'm going to let this sit, set up like this. And then I'm gonna come back and texture the top. So let me bring you closer. So this is my turmeric, well, sea moss turmeric soap. Doesn't it look beautiful? I'm coming back to texture the top in just a few minutes. So I'm gonna just let it get a little harder. Okay, guys, I'm back. It's it's pretty solid. So I'm just gonna. Just do some 
divots like that. I don't know. Push that over. Don't want to have the, the corners, you know, slacking. Just, you know. Little divots in it or whatever you call them with the spoon. Kind of looks like after you make potatoes on grunt. That's what the soap kind of looks like. It smells divine, everyone. Please remember to like, subscribe, and click that bell for another video from me, Mia, at Basically Soap.